Imagine checking your bank statement and finding charge after charge, all mistakes, to the tune of thousands of dollars. A Safety Harbor man uses Uber, and his account is tied to his debit card. He was shocked to see this bank statement showing Uber charged him multiple times a day for weeks. That's when he knew he'd better call Bankin, and investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. I can't even imagine seeing your statement and having all those charges. So scary. And this family, they use Uber regularly, but certainly not this much. And so I had to go take a look at this. I checked his Uber app, and some of these charges listed here, they just don't match up. That's right there. Thomas Wilson's bank statement is pages and pages long of mostly charges from Uber. These are not legitimate charges. Uh, no, I, I have history of my Uber use here, and uh, there's no way I don't think humanly poss possible some of them you can do that many charges in a day. Wilson checked his bank statement last week and found this charge after charge for trips he insists his family didn't take. $37.67, $26.67, $11.18, and the list goes on. You feel taken advantage of? Sure. Who, who wouldn't? I don't know what's wrong, what happened. He reached out to Uber right away, sent the company photos of his statement. It says no one called back. After a week of inquiries and the runaround, he turned to me for help. Wilson tells me he's learned a big lesson to check his statement more often. But for now, he wants his money back from Uber. I will be watching it better now. And I had no idea this was going on. I can't wait to find out what, what it is. So I went to work calling Uber's corporate office in California. He tells us that he's been calling Uber, sending screenshots, trying to fix this on his own, and that he can't get anywhere. No one's helping him. Within hours, I had a response. Uber is investigating, but their security team determined someone stole Wilson's credit card information and used it to pay for charges on another account. He won't be responsible for any of the fraudulent charges. So. Uber tells me his credit card was not stolen from the app because when you put your credit card in for a trip, the information is immediately encrypted. So Uber believes Wilson's information was compromised somewhere else, but they've already reached out to him today to discuss getting all of his money back. Well, and one of the things we talk about here is don't tie your debit card to things. Use your credit card because it's so card. much easier to dispute the charges. But what else could he have done to prevent this from happening? Well, he said it there. Check more often. You know, he found three weeks worth of charges. So that's many weeks that he wasn't looking. And if he had found this earlier, he could have stopped it earlier and he would have, you know, kept a lot of this from happening. So he will be checking this much, much more often and probably switching to a credit card, like you mentioned. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that identity theft yes. has become so pervasive. It, it is. It's scary. Keep keeping you busy. Yes, very busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks.